A special feature of the linear dimension tool is the elevation dimensioning construction method. Elevation dimensions allow you to place height markers in section, elevation, interior elevations, and 3D document windows. Right-click on the S1 section line and use the Open with Current View Settings context menu command. In the View map, right-click on the Sections folder and select Redefine with Current Window Settings to apply the current settings for both section views. Open the Dimension Default Settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Elevation Dimension Favorite from the Lesson 25 Favorites folder. Make the following changes. In the Dimension Type panel, choose the Elevation Dimension Type, then click on the Upper Elevation Marker direction and Solid Marker buttons. In the Marker and Witness Line Options panel, type 1 in the Marker Size field and click OK. First, let's dimension the right side of the building by clicking on some points of the roof, slanted wall, slab, ground slab, and foundation. Only click on points highlighted with the circular marks. Double click to finish point selection and place the dimension. With the Dimension tool active, move the cursor over the dimension chain between the dimension units until it turns to a three-pointed star cursor. Shift plus click to select the chain, then press and hold Control or Command. Click the points you want to add one by one. Deselect the dimension chain. Depending on the dimensioned point, you may want to indicate whether the point is measured from the top or the bottom. In our dimension chain, all markers show top dimensions. Now we'll change some of the markers to a bottom dimension. With the Dimension tool active, hold down the Shift key and select the dimension markers you want to change. In the Info box, select the bottom marker direction and hit Escape. If some text and markers overlap, you can drag the text to a more convenient position. With the Dimension tool active, select the text itself by hovering the cursor around the text and Shift-click when it's highlighted. Click on the black snap point and drag it to a new position, as you did before with the level dimension. You may add additional elevation dimensions as well as horizontal dimensions to this and to other section views as well. Before placing linear dimensions with the linear construction method, don't forget to switch off the arc length geometry method. 